What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction and welcome back to another Battle for Bikini Bomb Rehydrated video. So this today, THQ Nordic released the multiplayer trailer and this was something that wasn't really expected to be released at all. Like, I thought we were going to have to like figure things out for ourselves once the game came out. But yeah, lo and behold, we do have the multiplayer trailer right here and now we are going to analyze. So let's begin guys, and before I get into this, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, because it does help the channel a lot. Make sure to leave a like as well, and make sure to ring that notification bell to be updated whenever I make a new video. So another thing I want to point out is that you guys may have noticed that I did not make any video pertaining to the robots, uh, that the robots trailer yesterday. The reason being is that there really there isn't really much to analyze, because I mean we've already seen these robots before, we know how they work. We know what changes they've been they've made so that yeah there's really no reason to make a video off that so here we are in the multiplayer trailer which actually has a lot more details than the trailer that we got yesterday so let's begin so here we are we do see like the pretty much the intro scene to robot squidward um, nothing really much to see here, other than that, just that there's a few things that I did figure out. Um, one thing is that the robots now have multiple hit points. So now sometimes robots will take two to three hits to take down, such as the hammer robot over here. See how they're all flinching? So it is pretty weird to see. And also, I thought that there was going to be some loading screens when it came to, like, how the island ch changes. But it turns out all the islands are pretty much next to each other. So I thought it was just going to be loading us to the next island, but no, they're all like in one place. So another cool thing to notice here that they gave Mr. Krabs that little sword that he used um, when he was trying to get that, that million dollar hat from Miss, uh, Smitty Werben Jägerman Jensen. So it, that is pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy that they actually gave him a proper weapon to use. So there's Robot Plankton and Mr. Krabs, a very unlikely uh, alliance. And it does look pretty cool though. Oh, there's Robot SpongeBob. I think I'm not 100% sure if that's like a a scrapped robot. Maybe this there's like some sort of timeline when it comes to this multiplayer mode. Because remember, they do say that there are more robots to destroy after the game is done, even if you're 100%. So maybe this is pretty much the defeated version of uh, Robot SpongeBob and his anchor arms. So yeah, you never know. It could be a good theory. Uh, what was that though? <laughs> Squidward's freaking jump was so weird. He has he has a ground pound. I think he has a ground pound. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here we could see some elements of Patrick's dream right here. So of course they're not going to be able to use Patrick's dream in the like the story mode, but they are using some elements of it in the multiplayer mode. So it does look pretty cool. Um, so I guess another thing to notice is that when an enemy is near death, I think they go completely red. I just basically signifying that, yeah, they're just one more hit and they're gone. There's the Chuck Robot right there. Um, I don't know how he hit him. Okay, so there's Robot Squidward. There's a uh, even, wow, even Gary has his own uh, ground pound. That is pretty cool. And cool thing to notice is that those shoes that Gary is wearing was the same ones from the episode where he taught SpongeBob how to tie his shoes. So yeah, another cool reference to a very good cartoon. So yeah, it is pretty cool. So another question I've always had when it came to the multiplayer since, you know, SpongeBob is pretty much like you know how SpongeBob has his little rocket, his cruise rocket and he also has his bowling technique. I'm just wondering how is that going to be used in the multiplayer? Is it going to be used at all or or is it is it going to is it only going to allow him to use his bowling technique so i'm not really sure how that's gonna work is the camera gonna like go into first person when he uses it like who really knows right so that, that is pretty cool um so yeah you can see he has more islands some islands are pretty bare bones you know it's just like a little metal plate that you're on and you just have to defeat the robots um sometimes it's sandy sometimes it's wooden um and sometimes yeah it could be the candy part so i don't know how um where's the anchor arms I don't know how the anchor arms thing is going to work. Maybe he comes to life. I'm not sure. He is there. But I'm hoping he's just not a little island that you have to fight on. I'm hoping he's actually a little mini boss fight. 
because that would be really disappointing if it wasn't. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it for this analysis. Um, there was quite a bit to see. I just wanted to see just the major little details. Um, so yeah, so the islands are going to be connected to each other. You don't have to load into the next island. Uh, Robot Squidward moves along with you guys, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be the one doing like hitting, making those attacks from the air just to mess you up while you're battling. So yeah, um, I, I'm actually kind of curious to see how this is going to play out when we actually get our hands on this game. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So uh, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you are new, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter um, if you like, or when, like one or the other, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, my name is Triforce Addiction. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.